Hey guys, it's me, Avery Lag here, and for my second part of my special, um, how to make, uh, and, uh, yeah, I didn't tell you guys what I was gonna make, so I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna make a Pokeball. Pokeball, yeah, and it might seem a little nerdy, but trust me, it comes out pretty well. Um, IGDO Universe helped me out, um, I'll put his link in the description. He's really cool, dude, um, his name is Don, so check him out. Okay, so let's get started, because I have time constraints. So, you want to you start with the sphere, as usual, and when it becomes 24, you can um, you want to put it 100, because we, we can make finer adjustments to it. Now, um, we want to click C to, an, to make it into an editable object. We want to go to our polygon editing mode, click UL to do um, loop selection, and you want to click this one right above the x-axis and the one right below the x-axis to make the band of the ball. It's neat. Oh my god. So now you want to right... You want to right click and do split. And you'll see that this is separated. So now we want to go back to normal editing mode and change the B value to 90. No, I, th I made a mistake. P value. Change P value to 90. And you'll see it will rotate at like so. So now we want to go back to normal editing mode. I mean, polygon editing mode. And we want to select the first four to make that button that, you know, which you press that opens the ball. So now you want to right click again and click split again. And let's name this button and this band. So after you're done with that, you can delete the sphere and you see we have a nice sort of belt looking thing. And that is going to be the middle of our ball. So now you want to start and add a new material. And you want to make it black. And drag and drop onto here. So you see we have a nice And yeah, you can't see it because you know background's black, but trust me, it'll look out, look where really cool. So now that we're done with that, we need to come with the two hemispheres. So let's let's make another sphere. Hundred segments again. This time we're gonna make the type a hemisphere, and see how there is a little overlapping part in one of the sphere. We're gonna remove that. So click C, select loop. And uh, click. No, just delete it. Hold on. Okay, so sorry, that was my friend. You'll be seeing, yeah, she was from the previous special. So, yeah. Um, so, now that we've gotten rid of that, let's make another sphere. And it's gonna be a lower half. And we're gonna make this 100 again. Type hemisphere. And this time, make the B value 180. And that will flip it over. You wanna make sure you have, you're on the normal editing mode otherwise it won't work go to 180 apply and now go here select this loop again delete it and now you see we have a nice you can basically see the shape of the pokeball now but the problem is um this interference over here so that happens when the sphere is on top of an object, so we don't want that. In order to remove that, we're going to have to use a bool tool, so... First, let's rename this, let's name this white. Name this red. And, so let's get started with their bool tool. Nope, we want to add a cylinder first. So, add a cylinder. 
make its radius 25 because otherwise it will punch a bigger hole. Um, click enter and you see that the radius change. Make the B value 90. And it's normal activating mode. Make the B value 90 and you will flip it up. Sorry, wrong value. P value 90. And that will change it here. So now we want to add a bool tool. Um, bool and drag the cylinder and and this. I want to make sure that they're right next that they're on the same level. Otherwise it won't work. And you want to make sure that the white is above the cylinder. Otherwise things will get messed up. Now you want to make sure that wait, let me flip it over. See because it cuts a hole in the back too. So you want to make sure that um, you move the cylinder forward. So let's do that. I'm just going to type in uh, 6, right on number, to move it forward. What? 0. Make the Z. Yes, on the Z axis. So I'll type in 6 on the Z axis. And. Wait. Uh, negative 6. Negative 6. Apply. Okay, good. So now we see that it hasn't punched out the hole. And we do the same with here. Red. Another cylinder. Um, radius 25. Enter. P value 90. Um, y. No, Z negative 6. And now you see that we have a nice thing, but see the problem is that wait, what did I just do? What? Wait, no, we didn't drag it. We didn't drag this into here. So drag it in. Drag it in. Make sure red's above. Red's above. Red's above. Okay, nice if you have a nice, juicy pokey ball. So now let's add some color and spice up to it. Let's make this red. And drag it onto here. Make another material. Make this white. And drag it onto here. So, now... But what you want to do is, let's rename this to uh, bool. Bool. Okay, sorry, I mis misspelled it. And it's white. Okay, so now we want to, what we want to do is, we want to make both of these edible objects by pressing C. And now we want to change the point of rotation. So in order to do that, we want to select a bulo, click this little thing, and. Uh, I could look, click red, and what I want to do is position, position of the rotation is Z, you're going to do 100, and that will put it right on the edge, so that it opens up the hinges, but now you see, look here, But now you see that it's not supposed to rotate from the middle of the band, it's supposed to rotate from here. Like, from here. So, you want to put the Y value as 6.5, and it will go perfectly on that. If you see, it is... God, sorry. It, well, what the heck. You know what, never mind. But it's right under there. So let's zoom out. Uh, change the view. And now you see we can. Oh my god. Undo. Zero out the rotation. Apply. Normal editing mode. And now you see. Lift it magically. 
it rotates from the nice point. So now that we've done with all of this, now what we want to do is um, we want to make the little buttons on the top. So in order to do that, we need to go to normal pointer, go to our button, and duplicate it three times. So one, hold, 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 command, control, and drag it down. So now, um, for button number one, we're going to make it an edible object. I'm going to put a polygon editing mode. UL. And delete the first at the outermost layer so that we get, we're left with a smaller button. Then select all, right click, and extrude, which adds, extrude adds depth. You want to extrude the value of 2 centimeters. And you see that has a little more depth. And now we want to drop our white material onto it. And we see we have a nice button. But I'm not satisfied with it because... Yeah, I just not. Wait, button one. Yeah. And then, um, you for button number two, you want to move it. No lighting mode. Move it forward a little. C. Polygon editing mode. U L. And this time I'm going to delete the first two layers. So you, so you want to select all. Extrude. Offset of two. Apply. White. And then you want to drop it right back on. Sorry. And you want to drop it. Go to normal editing mode. I'm gonna drop it right on here. And see. Yes. And now our final step is to add depth to the to these the hemispheres. So to do that, we're gonna right right we're gonna. You go to a polygon editing mode, right click, extrude, offset of 2, apply, and now you see it has more depth here. And we're going to do the same with white. So, right click, extrude, offset 2, apply, and we see we have a nice juicy Pokeball. Now, I'm going to render this. And you see, it looks absolutely beautiful. So there it is, and wait, let me just collapse this. And go to full screen. Tools. What the? Render. Hold on. How do you get to full screen here? Oh, so I'm just going to open the... I'm just gonna open this. So click on this. Click on this and rotate. Normal editing mode. Sorry, I messed up. Run. Click red. Rotate it, and you see we have. A beautiful Pokeball. So yeah, that's it. And let's render it. And yep, that's it. It's my Pokeball. And see you guys next time for my next tutorial on Armor Ball. So ciao and peace.